Hello you crafty travelers. We are leaving Chamberlain, Okoma, South Dakota. It is Wednesday, June the 16th. We are headed to Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Come along. glimpse of the tower. I'm not going to say a lot about Devil's Tower and the National Monument in this video because we will be visiting the monument and I will give you more information in that video. However, Devil's Tower rises 1,267 feet above the Belfouche River a sacred place to over 20 Native American tribes. The tower is also known as Bear Lodge. 
Devil's Tower was designated as America's first national monument in 1906 by President Theodore Roosevelt. We are staying for three nights at the Devil's Tower Black Hills KOA Campground. The campground is part of the historic Camp Stool Ranch, which has been in the Driscoll family for eight generations. The Camp Stool Ranch is located at the foot of Devil's Tower in Northeast Wyoming, where the Driscoll family has been ranching since 1878. The Driscolls first trailed over 1 million cattle to Wyoming from Texas in 1868, and now eight generations later, they still have a race of Angus beef. Number five, we're following Louie in the golf cart to our site. Here's your receipt. Let me get out. Yeah. Gee, got, we're gonna get our walkie talkies on. <laughs> Hi, it's Lonnie with Crafty Traveler, and I am going to show you around the Devil's Tower Black Hills KOA campground. And today is June the 17th. We have a back in with electricity and water. We didn't get sewer, it was a little less expensive. There is a dump station. And when we back in at the back of our trailer, we can see the tower. I'm going to be reading from their brochure and of course I'm going to put my glasses on to do that. The legend on the brochure says there is laundry which we used. A couple of pictures. First, which we didn't use, we used our own showers. Restrooms, which we pretty much used our own. There's a dump station. The movie, they show close encounters of the third kind every night, uh, weather permitting, of course. And I went last night, and it, even though I'd seen that movie so many times, it was amazing to sit there and watch it and see the tower right above the area. There's fire rings, there's dumpsters, there's camping cabins, deluxe cabins, no pets. There's pull through 50 amp, pull through 50 amp choice spots, which I believe are the ones that actually view the tower better than what we have. There's back in tower view, 50 amp. There's 50 amp back ends, 30 amp back ends, which we have. 30 amp back in and 30 amp tent with electricity and a 30 amp pull through. They're, they have dish network available and, as well as direct TV but no cable. They do have Wi-Fi and it's pretty good. So I'm not sure of how many, I have to count up how many sites there really are. So I've counted 180 RV spots. There are seven to 10 tenting sites. There are 11 cabins and looks like one deluxe cabin. And there are also TP sites. There's five TP camping sites. There's a store 
in the registration as well as connect to the registration. It's more of a grocery store. Um, there is a pool, but it wasn't filled when we were there. There's a miniature golf course and a children's uh, playground. There's a dog park and the dump station. So hopefully in my video, I'll get all of those to show you. Stay tuned. Here's your golf course. building over there is going to be new showers and bathroom. Lots of pull-through spaces, but we have a back end because we're closer to the... There's cabins for rent and some tent spaces in the back. Now I'm going to go into the store. You'll see they have lots of different souvenirs, postcards, magnets, toys, in the back. and they also have uh, different food items. They have a small deli with some pre-prepared food. This ice cream case was empty, and I'll show you why later. And they have a cafe in the back. Here's why that ice cream case was empty. They want to sell you their hand-packed ice cream. And yes, I did indulge. And it was delicious. what to do. Got a container. Huh? 
a waste container. And I, yeah, they may even have a little receptacle for some bags, and they do. Good. Can't get enough of that mountain. Could look at it all day long. It's pretty interesting. There's our little passport and the shadow of the mountain. This is the outdoor theater they have behind the store. And every night, weather permitting, they show close encounters of the third kind. And then that little box Green. And there's the mountain right there. Can't really see it for that tree, but it's there. And every time you see the mountain on the movie, you look up at the mountain. It was a very good experience. Besides activities of going up to the Devil's Tower Monument, which is barely a couple miles away, the entrance is right outside of the KOA campground. There's a hayride wagon which I took and you'll see the video and the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind. There are a lot of wildlife around. We've seen many deer and today going up to the park we saw a prairie dog meadow and then the ranch where we took the hayride has uh, longhorn cattle and buffalo on it. Well, I hope you like the video of the tour of the Devil's Tower Black Hills KOA. It's a wonderful place to stay. It is pricey. It's about $50 a night is what we uh, paid for our site. And I'm sure the deluxe sites and the view sites are more. You can go on the KOA uh, camping website and register and uh, we got a little discount because we're KOA members um, so I would recommend this park to stay for a couple of nights so you can see Devil's Tower and do all the activities the park has to offer. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget the little bell so you'll see more of my videos. And stay crafty when staying at the Devil's Tower Black Hills KOA. Thanks for watching.